Hello YouTube, today I will make a short video about how I made my homemade quadcopter. The main goal of this project is to make a model of quadcopter using microcontroller and other necessary components. Uh, this, uh, this project uh, presents a development of remotely operated quadcopter system. The quadcopter is uh, controlled through uh, graphical user interface where the communication between uh, graphical user interface and the quadcopter is constructed by use, using uh, a wireless uh, communication. The quadcopter balancing and the stability condition is sensed by using MPU 600 50 sensor. All signals from uh, sensors are processed by Arduino Pro Mini microcontroller board and the output from the Arduino Pro Mini microcontroller board is impl implemented to control quadcopter motors. Uh, today first uh, I will uh, explain all, all components on this uh, on this board and uh, this uh, frame. First I will explain uh, how I made this uh, uh, frame on this uh, quadcopter. Uh, as you can see this, uh, this frame is made from uh, aluminium. The frame needs to be uh, as much as uh, stronger and, uh, uh, and light. Uh, also, uh, many quadcopters are made from uh, plastics and uh, carbon, carbon materials. Uh, I have used uh, aluminium because I have found this uh, at local store, this uh, stick, aluminium stick, and I just cut it uh, to the, the some pieces and. Uh, and uh, connected it to one one uh, uh, PCB board. You can you can see here how it's connected. Now, not uh, frame needs to be uh, light and uh, strong. Uh, next uh, part on this project is uh, these legs. It's from a plastic box. I have cut this uh, these legs. Uh, next thing is uh, these uh, propellers. Uh, uh, I need to say that uh, these motors and uh, motor holders and uh, and and propellers are based on the uh, are from Tar Tarantula X6 uh, uh, quadcopter. Uh, motors, uh, all these parts are from that uh, uh, quadcopters, Tarantula X6. Uh, next uh, part uh, is uh, this uh, main board of this project. I have made uh, this board, it's a PCB. It's PCB, as you can see. A little solder here because a uh, uh, lot of current uh, going through this uh, uh, circuit and I have uh, soldered some uh, some uh, pads uh, next things is uh, battery it's a LiPo uh, 7.2 battery it's uh, 1200 uh, milliamps. Uh, next is uh, this uh, here. You can see it's a microcontroller. It's Arduino based. It's Arduino Pro Mini microcontroller. Next thing, thing on this uh, board is uh, is MPU 
6050 next board next thing on this board is a bluetooth module it's uh, hc uh, 06 uh, next thing is uh, TTL level controller TTL level controller next thing is a uh, step down converter for uh, powering all these devices here it's uh, powering uh, from uh, 7.2 to 5 volts because all these things are powered with 5 volts next thing uh, we have here uh, it's uh, transistors it's MOSFET transistors uh, this little here here it's MOSFET transistors uh, next thi thing bit, uh, under this uh, Bluetooth device it's uh, it's a buzzer for a low battery alarm now all all things on this board are detachable we can remove all and that's it that's it uh, for now now I will just uh, to tune it we have here one uh, switch switch and it's working uh, Bluetooth uh, needs to be connected via uh, application on Android uh, mobile phone on Android application here I will just turn it off and uh, just one thing uh, we have here a little SMD diode here you can see it's uh, I don't know it's not matter and that's all all this uh, quadcopter is about 300 300 grams and uh, that's it now I will I will uh, explain something else now I just need to explain how it uh, how it uh, controlled is uh, the GUI uh, combines the sensors uh, that are on the phone and the graphically presented buttons to control quadcopter for stabilization uh, it's uh, uh, I have used a PID uh, controller uh, all calculation is by microcontroller uh, Arduino Pro Mini the, this uh, experiment uh, shows that the uh, quadcopter system can hover uh, while will maintain its balancing and the stability is guaranteed moreover the dev developed system is able to cope with load disturbance up to uh, 100 uh, grams uh, during the hover position more factors can be added maximum operated time of this uh, quadcopter is uh, 4 minutes units using uh, uh, 700 uh, milliamp uh, lipo battery and operate time can be increased by using largest battery capacity on this uh, model I have uh, uh, one, uh, 1000 and uh, and uh, 200 milliamps lipo battery uh, now I will uh, make uh, just little test and uh, show how it uh, hover uh, also for uh, PID stabilization I have made uh, one little uh, one little stand to, to uh, adjust uh, all all PID parameters here I will uh, I will uh, show how I made it each axis I have uh, adjust it uh, one by one axis now I have made uh, this stand and it's uh, stand for a PID adjust adjusting 
for this axis it can be just uh, move by this position and uh, I have adjust uh, one by one axis first this axis and second this axis and we also have a, a, a Z axis it's a jab controlled